In this video clip, we will enter the feed data for the project that we have created in the previous exercises. We will be taking our data from the table on page 218 in the Cisco Basic tutorial, which is shown here for reference. And you'll see we have the all feed. So if we go to Cisco, so if I right click on the feeder, we see the access window. And you'll see there are a number of different tabs that are available to the user. The feed XPG1 tab, or the first tab, is where we'll first start entering our data. And the first thing we need to put in is how much material flows out of this feeder. And you'll see we have this field here, required mass flow, and it's QM required. And it's in SysCAD, Q stands for flow and M for mass. So this is mass flow required. At the moment, it's zero tons per hour. So we want to type 65 tons per hour in there. And the temperature for this, according to the table, is 35 degrees. And here we have the field for T required, 35 degrees. So we'll enter those two values. And you will see that these fields are both white fields. In SysCAD, the user can enter data into a white field. And a gray field, as shown down here, is a calculated field. You cannot change that. I'll click on the OK button for it to accept those changes. So we've now told the feeder how much material is going to feed into our project and the temperature, but we haven't specified the breakdown of that material, what is actually going to be flowing out of this feeder. By default, it'll be 100% water. For us to change it, we have to go to the DSP page, which stands for define the species. So if I click on that tab, we have the breakdown of what we can put into this feeder. Now according to the table, the ore feed consists of 85% solids. And that's up here. So here we can type in 85. And if I click on the OK button, so this will balance it out and it'll change the sort of liquids to 15%. Our liquids are going to be 100% water, so we can leave those. And we merely have to put in the breakdown of the solids, which are down here. According to the table, we have half a percent of cobalt oxide, 0.5% there, 30% Fe203, 8% of magnesium oxide, 2% of sodium carbonate, 1.8 of nickel oxide and 57.7 of quartz with zero of calcium hydroxide. We click on the OK button and that is the feeder for the all feed setup. 